Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is going to be a quick review and what we're going to be looking at is our personal top five favourite TV shows of all time. I'm Leo. I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm Steve. <laughs> and that's Chris. <laughs> cut. <Sorry. laughs> no, no, we cut. Right, we'll start, we'll get going. Steve. Okay. <coughs> so, top five. five. Your number five. Okay. We'll, go, we'll, we'll, we'll each say our number five right. and then we'll... So, we'll, we'll TV, um, I think number five would be, um, the A-Team. The A-Team? And why did you like the A-Team? Well, I don't know. At the time, when I was a kid, I, I just liked the story and I liked the characters. And I liked the fact that um, you could shoot a gun and shoot a helicopter out of the sky and people would get out of it. <laughs> And walk around and wouldn't be killed. Um, no, I thought it was great TV at the time. Um, I think watching it now, it's not so good, but it's still it's still pretty good. And I like I like the theme tune. When I you know it's it's just good. It brings back good memories. So cool. Uh, my number five is going to be an animated show, and that's going to be the Transformers. Um, Transformers. Uh, what they did was in the back in the day, they used to sort of cut the episode up into five pieces and show you five minutes a day. It's something like seven in the morning, but I I love the Transformers. I love the fact that they, these the to me the characters had you know all the robots actually had personalities. Um, Megatron, the Decepticons seem like genuinely uh, uh, dangerous threats for for a cartoon. So you think you look at things like Mask and 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 that sort of thing. They never really seemed all of that bad. They never seemed that they could genuinely be a, a threat to humanity. Whilst I thought the Decepticons did. And in the cartoon, in the uh, movie, for example, a lot of people, a lot of characters were killed. So that's my number five. Chris? My number five would be Manimal. Yeah? Mm. With um, Simon McCorkindale. I haven't seen it since it was aired, and it probably will be completely crap now, looking back I at it. I think you can do it on DVD, actually. At the time, when I was a kid, mm. I really, really liked it. The fact that he changed into a, an animal, and it was um, just a really sort of um, interesting concept, really. So he'd be number number five. Mm. Number four, Steve. Number four is Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love as a kid. I used to love Monkey. I remember it being on a Friday night. Um, I came home from school and then after tea, Monkey was on BBC Two. Loved it. I loved all the kind of mythology uh, aspects of it. And at the time, I, just, I don't know. I just thought it was great. And I used to think that I could summon up a pink cloud if I. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but it never worked. Um, however, watching it now, it's pretty crap. <laughs> um, but again, for nostalgia purposes, I, I quite like it. Now. It's all right. I like it. Uh, my number four is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, which ran for uh, a good long while, um, and obviously starred Sarah Michelle Gellar as, uh, as a vampire slayer. And I, I really got into the characters. I, I thought it had a great sense of humour. Um, you know, passable special effects for a sort of, uh, you know, for a TV budget. And, you know, to me, I really got into the characters. I really got into the story. I got really involved in it. Um, obviously, it was created by Joss Whedon, who, you know, has gone on to sort of do uh, bigger and better things. Um, that's my favourite Joss Whedon show. Uh, I know a lot of people like Firefly. I was never too keen on that, to be quite honest. Uh, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer is my number four. Chris. My number four would be Mask. Yeah. T uh, cartoon series. Basically similar to G.I. Joe, in fact it was a um, mask against, was it Venom wasn't it? Mm. And um, doing battle, <laughs> basically similar kind of thing, but again it used to be on TV in the mornings and the school holidays and you know, just remember it, you know, and it was um, really good. Number three. Number three would be, I think I'd go for G.I. Joe, so the Sumbo. Um, G.I. Joe cartoons but um, I loved them as a kid again watching them now they're not quite as good but they're still still fairly good and I like the characters um, and I kind of like I like the illustration basically the, the artwork's good um, so yeah that's my number three my number three is Tour of Duty which was a, a program in the 80s which was based the three seasons and it ran and uh, was set during the Vietnam conflict and basically followed a platoon of uh, infantrymen um, and their sort of trials and tribulations in the bush 
um, great TV. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, Vietnam veterans commented that they thought they thought it was a very fair representation of um, what the soldiers' plight was, and I found it thoroughly uh, enthralling. Chris, your number three. My number three would probably be the Equalizer. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, um, again, there was another classic '80s kind of um, action TV. Quite a big hit in its day, wasn't it? Mm. And um, starred Edward Woodward as a, as a sort of a, well, he's kind of a vigilante, wasn't he? Sort of people, you know, rang him for help to solve their problems. And, uh, great TV. Number two, Steve. Number two is, um, I have to say, The Equaliser. So yeah. Chris just explained um, The Equaliser. So Robert McCall, yeah. Um, great character, ex CIA agent. Um, Helping out people who are in, in trouble, a bit like the A Team, but just a one man band, um, but much better than the A Team, much more realistic, much more gritty. Um, it was kind of on at nine o'clock, wasn't it? After mm. the watch it. Um, great, I love it. You know, it's good. It's still good today. You know, I've got DVDs like to watch them. Um, I think it holds its own. Really, it's great. I'm going to go British for my number two, and that's going to be Robin of Sherwood. Um, <laughs> Again, an, an 80s uh, show that ran for um, three seasons, and it was not that many episodes. Uh, I think it probably had um, no more than sort of 25 episodes in total, or something like that, and was a fairly sort of um, mystical kind of, uh, but it's kind of a fairly dark and, and kind of almost quite a bit, quite grounded take on Robin Hood and the. You have Michael Prelis, Robin Hood, initially for two seasons, and then Jason Connery for the final season. But that season was a bit longer. Um, but just you know, it had a lot of characterisation on on the, his followers, the Merry Men. Um, great music, very very atmospheric, and all shot on location as well, in sort of actual castles and then the sort of woods and stuff. And uh, I loved it. I was I was gutted that they that wouldn't finish after three seasons. Chris, number number two. Number two. My number two would probably be soft and squidgy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd probably have to go with um, the G.I. Joe cartoons for number two, which Steve's already kind of uh, explained about. Fair enough. Nothing <laughs> more to say on that one then. Yeah. So your number one, your number one the TV show of all time, Steve. <laughs> um, Tour of Duty is my number one favourite. I love. I, I'm big into military history. And I love the Vietnam era stuff. Um, and I think it's a great series. Terence Knox um, is really good in it. Um, and I just think the characters, yeah, it's great characterization. And again, it, it, it is kind of, I think, a little bit tame in places, um, but it does give a good overall kind of interpretation of um, This was before and, like HBO and stuff like you yeah, had in America, though, wasn't um, it really? So. Yeah. Um, of of a soldier that would what they experience in in Vietnam, um, so yeah, I think it's great. Good storyline. It ran for three series. So was, um, towards the end, it was kind of I don't know, getting a bit tired. I think, um, but the first I think the first two series are really good. Third one's not quite so good, but it does have good episodes in it. Um, but my favourite is Zeke Anderson. And, Played by Terence Knox. Um, great, yeah, love it. Uh, my number one show is going to be the most modern show in my list, and that is Twenty Four, uh, a, a kind of a, an interesting action TV show that was uh, starring Keith Sutherland, and the the kind of its USP really was that it was actually um, shown in real time. So although you you had commercial breaks in it, but essentially you had forty five minutes of of footage that would actually take you, you know, it would take place over 45 minutes, obviously in time with commercial breaks. And it was the most addictive, these, you haven't seen it, have you? Yeah. Uh, it was the most addictive program I've ever seen. And I, I, I challenge anyone, I mean, the first season's maybe looking a little bit old now, but um, even so, once you start watching, I, I pretty much guarantee you, you would not be able to start watching it. And, and anyone who I've ever introduced to 24, 
once they started watching it, they got absolutely hooked on it. So for me, you know, I've watched the whole of the series uh, multiple times and I love it. And I will probably watch it again at some point when I've got another seven or eight days <laughs> to go <laughs> through the whole lot. Chris? I'd probably, um, my number one show would also be Tour of Duty, most likely. Well, that's it. That's, that's been it all off. Um, yeah. So anything else? And what was your favourite season on that one? Favourite season would be first season because I thought that was um, the most, um, I don't know, because it introduced the characters and I think it, with that with that programme, you know, they were able to really develop the characterization. You know, you actually got into the, you could really relate to the characters, you know. And I think maybe second and third season, maybe slightly weaker, third season had a few. I thought the third season was better than the first, the second one, to be honest. Yeah. First season was a bit of a I did like the, you know, like, I think the third season you had, you know, you had like Carl Weathers and Lee Majors in it and stuff. So. Yeah. But Lee Majors. It was quite good. Anyway, so that, that concludes our top five personal favourite TV shows of, of all time. Now, what are your guys' top five? Leave us a comment and leave us your top five, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. See you later.